In the world of biology, there's a universe of wonders waiting to be discovered, and at the heart of it all are the cells. These silent heroes, often too small to be seen with the naked eye, are fundamental to the mystery of life. Today, we're going to dive into the world of five unique types of cells. And get ready for a surprise. You will be amazed at what can emerge from a single, seemingly simple cell. Let's start with these strange blue structures here. These are cheek cells from my mouth. To collect them, I swiped the inside of my cheek with a cotton swab and then put the sample on a microscope slide. Now, they're not naturally this shade of blue. I stained them with ordinary blue fountain pen ink, mainly to highlight the nucleus, which we'll examine more closely in just a bit. So, what's the role of these epithelial cells in our mouths? Primarily, they form a protective layer to guard the sensitive tissue underneath. They're like the first line of defense against mechanical damage from everyday actions, like chewing or talking, and from chemical irritants. Think of those times you eat something very sour or spicy. You might wonder how often these cheek epithelial cells have to regenerate due to the constant wear and tear they endure. And you'd be right to think about it. It's a crucial aspect of their function. This regeneration is necessary to keep that protective layer strong and intact. And here, in these cells, you can see this dark spot very clearly. That's the nucleus. The nucleus is where the cell's genetic material, the DNA, is stored. It might be hard to picture, but within this DNA lie the instructions for the cell's development, function and reproduction. The nucleus is often described as the cell's control center for good reason. It's crucial for the growth, renewal and overall function of these cells. Here we have an array of tiny yet incredibly intriguing microorganisms. Meet the paramecium. Yes, these minuscule creatures are composed of nothing more than a single cell. Paramecium is a fascinating testament to the complexity that can exist within a unicellular organism. Inside these organisms, much like in the cells of our mouth's mucous membrane, there is a nucleus for genetic control. But that's not all. They also have vacuoles, sort of like bubbles within the cell, containing fluid responsible for regulating water balance. Paramecium holds a special place in scientific research, serving as what's known as a model organism. This microorganism is like a window into the world of cell biology and ecology, aiding scientists in unraveling fundamental life processes. These insights are crucial for understanding not just these single-celled beings, but also more complex, multicellular life forms. Their habitat spans freshwater environments such as ponds, lakes and streams, where they feed on bacteria and other small particles. To navigate their watery realms, they use their cilia, tiny hair-like structures. If you look closely, you can see these delicate cilia fringing their bodies, propelling them through their microscopic world. Now, we turn our attention to the third cell type, the remarkable guard cells, part of the stomata. Here, clearly visible, are the darker coffee bean-shaped structures. Guard cells are a prime example of plants' extraordinary ability to adapt to their surroundings. Stomata are tiny pores on the surface of terrestrial plants, playing a pivotal role in several vital life processes. These microscopic openings are gateways for gas exchange between the plant and its environment. When the stomata open, they absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen, a byproduct of photosynthesis. Moreover, plants can release water vapor through these stomata, a process crucial for regulating their temperature and water balance. Guard cells are the masterminds controlling the opening and closing of these pores. Take a closer look at the guard cells and you will notice tiny, round, green orbs within them. These inconspicuous green orbs are chloroplasts and they have a critical mission. Among other things, 
They produce the necessary energy through photosynthesis to operate the opening and closing of the stomata. The dance of opening and closing is influenced by various environmental factors, such as light, whether it's sunny, day or night, but also humidity, temperature and so on. Remarkable, isn't it, what individual plant cells are capable of? Now, let's transition from one remarkable cell type to another, the red blood cells. In a modest but daring venture, I drew a small sample of blood from my finger. With this sample now prepared on a slide, we have the opportunity to dive into the world of these indispensable cells. Red blood cells, known as erythrocytes, are more than mere components of blood. They are fundamental to our very existence. Tasked with a critical role, they shuttle oxygen from the lungs to every corner of our body's tissues. Their striking red color isn't just for show, it's the signature mark of hemoglobin, the oxygen binding protein that gives them this life-sustaining hue. Take a closer look at their form, small, disc-shaped and ingeniously designed to smoothly glide through the tiniest blood vessels. It's a marvel of biological design, ensuring efficient oxygen delivery to every part of our body. Intriguingly, these cells stand out from others we have discussed today by lacking a nucleus. This unique attribute allows them to carry more hemoglobin, boosting their oxygen-carrying efficiency. However, this also leads to a limited lifespan of about 120 days, after which they are replaced by new cells. As we prepare to look at our final fascinating cell, take a moment to appreciate the red blood cell, small in size, but massive in importance. Behold this strangely moving blob, an amoeba. Yes, this amoeba is a single cell. Despite its simplicity, it harbors extremely complex life processes. Unlike the red blood cells we just explored, amoebas have a nucleus that stores their genetic information and directs cellular processes. Amoebas are the unsung masters of adaptation, inhabiting the most diverse corners of our world. One thing's for sure, they thrive in moist environments. From the muddy bottom of a pond to the damp forest floor, these microscopic survivalists even find their way in extreme habitats like hot springs. Yet they always remain in harmony with water, their essential elixir of life. Amoebas typically reproduce through mitosis. During mitosis, a cell division process, they split and multiply with each daughter cell being an exact replica of the mother cell. Sounds almost crazy, doesn't it? Imagine if you could replicate yourself like an amoeba. One morning, you wake up and think, today is a good day to double myself. You stretch, yawn, and suddenly your body begins to divide, producing an exact copy of you. Same looks, same memories, same personality. Now there are two of you, ready to conquer the day. Whether you find this thought intriguing or unsettling, I will leave that up to you. These shapeshifters move in a unique and mesmerizing way. Take a closer look. They extend and retract pseudopodia, or false feet, from their body to pull or push themselves forward. This movement allows them to glide smoothly through their environment, on the hunt for food or responding to environmental stimuli. And so, we draw near to the end of our enthralling journey into the world of cells. As we have witnessed, the diversity and complexity of these tiny building blocks of life are truly astonishing, from the protective epithelial cells to the graceful amoebas. It's awe-inspiring how each cell, varied and unique, plays a vital role in the grand tapestry of life. With the aid of a microscope, we can unveil these hidden marvels and delve deep into a world that usually remains invisible to the naked eye. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your support with a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, so you won't miss out on more videos. 
I'm eagerly looking forward to taking you on another adventure next time. Until then, see you soon!